I'm back with the second part of my 2016 holiday gift guide where today I'm going to be sharing uh, gifts I consider extravagant splurges. So uh, $50 and up, I'm going to go through some of my top picks for her, some of my top picks for him, and then a few kind of host, hostess, or gender neutral gift selections. And I'm going to try this time for real to show you an order of price <laughs> because I failed on that in my last gift guide, which was my little luxuries which is my $25 to $50 price range, which I will have throw up in a card for you and I'll have a link below too if you guys wanna check it out. So, I'm gonna start for her. I saw these at Nordstrom and I just thought they were so, so beautiful. Cubic zirconia, um, faux diamond, if you will, earrings. They are really gorgeous. They're very sparkly and absolutely, you know, very diamond-like in person. They have got great color and fire to them. They're just beautiful. Um, these are the 0.5 carat ones. They're $48, so actually a little bit less than $50, but a beautiful gift. They do come in other sizes. I know they have a, a bigger size that I believe is like $98, if I'm not mistaken, but I just thought this was a really nice kind of medium size. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's kind of like the perfect size. I think half carat's a really nice size um, for earrings for any lady. Uh, and it's just a wonderful price too. And they come in this really pretty box, easy to wrap. And Nordstrom will wrap things for you um, if you want them to, which is nice. But um, they wrap it in like their wrapping, which just kind of looks like this. I like doing like festive holiday wrapping, so I would use, you know, some of, some of my many rolls of wrapping paper. But I just thought that was a really nice kind of, you know, lower end of the range um, gift. Um, and then this, 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 the Barefoot Dreams Circle Cardigan. I purchased this during the Nordstrom anniversary sale over the summer, knowing I wasn't gonna get much use out of it until fall and winter and when the weather got cooler. Well, it's been getting chillier and I've been wearing it a lot. I have mine in the indigo color, which is this gorgeous, really deep, kind of dusty navy blue and you're not gonna be able to see like I'm holding this up but you're like what is that I'll pop in a picture it's basically the coziest coziest cardigan and it's nice enough that you can wear it out of the house it doesn't have to be just a house thing um I wear mine a lot in the house kind of as a I don't really wear robes I'm not a big robe wearer but this is sort of my version of a robe I guess um beautiful gift $116 so it's definitely a splurge it's like not something you know, somebody I think would buy for themselves every day, but really beautiful gift and really cozy. I think cozy, cuddly gifts like that are a really thoughtful thing um, for anybody, but especially, uh, you know, special women on your, on your list this year. My next gift is the Instax Mini 70. Now, you're probably familiar with the Instax Mini 8. This is a very popular accessory, especially if you're a scrapbooker, um, memory keeper. Yeah, kind of into that stuff. This is very popular um, and um, a really kind of handy, fun little thing. It makes these little Polaroids like this. I just took a selfie with it because I wanted to compare between that and the Mini 70. I saw this actually and I didn't realize they made different versions of this camera. This is a little bit more expensive. This one retails for about $120 depending on where you purchase it. Um, I got this off Amazon and it's just like a nicer upgraded version of it. You can see it's a little bit sleeker. It's a little bit um, just slimmer and sleeker and just kind of more put together looking. And it has some features. It ha it's a electronic instead of um, this one is not electronic. There's no buttons on it or anything. And it has different modes. It has a selfie mode. It has a self timer, um, which is nice. And it has this little selfie mirror on the front so you can kind of just see if you're in the right frame. Uh, and it's supposed to be a bit of a higher quality. Now I took some sample pictures and they definitely come out different. Um, Honestly, I, I'm not sure, but I think I might prefer the way the Mini 70 comes out. I mean, the Mini 8 comes out. The Mini 70 is a bit um, brighter, like the quality is a little bit brighter. So it does give you a different effect, but I think it's a really, really cool gift um, and definitely kind of a step up in the Instax game. Um, and just like a, a fun thing, a really fun gift, especially if you have like a memory keeper, somebody who loves taking photos and taking fun fun photos and things like that. Um, it's definitely something something cons to consider. Of course, a Fitbit I think is a very nice holiday gift for the right 
for the right person if you're doing it with the right message. <laughs> um, you don't want to offend anybody or like imply anything by giving anybody something like this, but if you know somebody who wants something like this and maybe isn't willing to spend the money on it, this is the Fitbit Alta. It retails for $130 and it is kind of their newer version of their slimmest design and it's really really nice you can actually um you can actually get it like they have a gold version which is more expensive with the little side panels gold this one has a little bit of silver i think detailing on the side um but it's a fitness tracker it you know it tracks your count the counts the steps you take in a day and it tracks your quality of sleep and um you can interchange the bands, you can, um, it actually, oh, I didn't know this, but it actually syncs to your computer and your iPhone. It can sync wirelessly to iOS, Android, and Windows, Mac, and PC computers, and it gives you know, notifications like caller ID, time, and date. Interesting. Um, so it actually does quite a more th few more things than the other version of the Fitbit that I'm familiar with, a really, like, very low-key version, but, um, really really nice gift for somebody who's very active or really wants to approach the new year with like a more active goal in mind um, this is a really nice gift and I think this is nice for a, a woman especially because it's slim and it's sleek but it still has that tech um, in it so um, you're not missing out on that part of it uh, so there's that and then lastly on my list for her is the Kuyana classic leather tote. I bought this a couple of years ago and I love this. It is the softest, most buttery leather and it is absolutely stunningly gorgeous. Um, this comes in a range of colors. Um, I really like this color. I don't know exactly what it's called. Maybe camel? I feel like it might be called camel, but the gray is beautiful. The burgundy's gorgeous. I think they have a navy. They have a lot of colors. And for $10 extra, you can have it, um, you can have it, um, personalized, so I have my initials on it, um, and also a star in between. Uh, so this is not inexpensive, it's $175, but the quality of the leather speaks for itself. And it's just a really simple style, so I think it would suit a lot of, um, you know, different kinds of women's tastes, and also just be really versatile and useful for different purposes. So somebody who's a student, somebody who's um, a professional, somebody who's a mom, you know, it, it can be used for lots of different things and just a really nice staple bag to have on hand. I think a nice open style tote like this is a must. Has some, you know, organization on the side, a zip pocket, a slip pocket. I actually um, made a sturdy base for mine out of, um, these are um, like plastic placemats that I bought, I think at Walmart and I did a whole blog post talking about the bag and I shared how I made it, it's really simple. Um, so I will put a link to that below if you guys wanna see, but um, really, really beautiful gift, I think. And again, very useful, but definitely extravagant. For him, I have a couple of clothing options. I like giving a nice shirt, but nothing too fancy because sometimes, I feel like at least the men in my life don't get dressed up all that often, like they don't wear for, like really formal shirts to work or anything, it, they kind of wear just polos or sweaters or you know kind of more business casual. Um, so I think the gift of a really nice business casual shirt uh, or you know really nice pair of jeans or new shoes depending on the guy you know but for my guy I like getting him and have nicer nicer shirts and this is a beautiful um, polo that I bought at uh, Nordstrom and it's their long sleeve PK I don't know how to pronounce this peak cotton polo uh, so it's a long sleeve shirt um, really beautiful fabric very soft 49.50 so just about 50 bucks super soft already not even been washed and easy to wash and dry um, really nice I feel like I bought this in Don's size but it looks enormous so I think it's probably runs a little bit big I'm probably gonna size down for him because I think it looks really big um, so just keep that in mind when ordering um, don't take my word for it but just from me eyeballing it I think it is a little bit runs a little bit on the large size but it comes nice kind of neutral, solid tones, this really beautiful heathered black, a really cool blue color that I like a lot, I think a green, um, really nice, nice colors, and just a nice soft shirt that looks nice, you know, put together. Um, and it's definitely not something my man would think to buy for himself. Um, <laughs> he doesn't think to buy any, any clothes for himself, but I think a lot of, I would buy that for a lot of the guys in our family because I just think it's a really nice, versatile, business casual kind of shirt. And then another uh, clothing item I think is a nice gift is 
a jacket, a coat, um, you know, things that maybe people don't replace as often because they think, oh, it's still good even though it's getting a little ratty or, you know, whatever. Um, they don't want to spend the money on it. I saw this actually um, at a local department store. I was just walking through and I just thought it was so nice looking. This is the North Face Gordon Lyon Zip Fleece Jacket. It's a little bit different from the, from the North State Face usual things. It's a little bit um, more sweatery looking and it's so fluffy and soft but it's still got you know it's kind of like that rugged guy look so it's not like oh you're wearing this like push clush what am I saying plush cushy thing but it feels like that and it's just nice um, so this is a $90 jacket which I think is pretty good price considering how expensive these kinds of things from the North Face can get it's maybe a little bit uh, maybe a little bit less warm than their micro fleece. I'm not sure. This is more of a knit fleece. I haven't tried it, so I can't tell you, but it seems really cozy and warm to me. And I just like the design. I just think it's really nice looking. This also comes in several different kind of solid earth tone colors. Uh, but I just thought this heathered black was really versatile and I bought that for my husband. So, um, sh don't tell him. <laughs> also that shirt. Actually, a lot of these things are for him because Obviously, I buy things that I would buy for the, a man in my life, and he's, he's the number one man in my life. Um, next, the Bose Soundly Color Bluetooth Speaker 2, uh, $129. This is a wireless speaker, so it connects via Bluetooth to your computer, to your phone. I think people mostly would use it with their phone. Um, I think a nice wireless speaker is a good gift for the guy who loves music and it's small enough that it can travel with them depending on their kind of work they do to work or on trips or to the beach or to the park or to the gym depending on the gym. You know, it can go different places. Um, even if you have an at-home gym or, or something like that where he maybe wants something a little bit more higher quality than just listening to music right off of his phone. Um, I think this is a nice option. It does come in other colors. Um, I think black, it can't go wrong with black because it's a speaker and it kind of, you know, it's just sleek looking and just a really thoughtful gift for the music lover on your list. And then I also wanted to include the Fitbit for him. So you could definitely get an Alta for a guy. I don't think this is like gender specific and you can get the Blaze for a woman. Um, but to me this kind of shouts a little bit more of a masculine, gives a little bit more of a masculine, I don't know, picture because it's just bigger. Um, it's really big and um, it's got a nice square face and it reminds me of an Apple Watch without having to spend the money on the Apple Watch. So it doesn't do quite the same things as the Apple Watch, but it does a lot. Um, you know, it, it tracks your activity, um, it gives you performance stats and workout summaries, it tracks your sleep, you can have an alarm on it for your, to wake you up in the morning, um, it does your heart rate, um, you don't need a chest strap, it just does your heart rate from your wrist. Um, again, you can get interchangeable bands, they even have like a gold face for it. Um, you can sync it wirelessly with your devices and your computers. Um, so really, really cool. You can also get smartphone notifications on it. So it is kind of like an Apple Watch in that way. Um, but this is $199.95, so just about $200. Bucks. Um, and it comes in sizes. I, I forgot to mention this comes in two sizes as well, small and large, small and large. Um, for this um, and different color bands too. Like I said, I feel like these are a bit gender neutral. Either one can go. It mean, depends on the people in your life, but if you want to give something with a little bit more bells and whistles for the real fitness enthusiast, um, that might be something to consider. And then lastly, for a, for a guy, and this could also be gender neutral, uh, but I bought this for my man, for my husband. If you have a guy who travels a lot for work, um, Don has started his work travels, picked up a bit um, in recent months, a really nice carry-on bag, small, well put together, good wheels, light, is essential. I saw this and I knew it was perfect for Don. It's gonna to be too hard to show you, so I'm gonna pop in a little, a little clip of the bag. This is the Victorinox Swiss Army Evolve 20 wheeled carry-on. And by 20, they mean it's 20 inches, so it's a really, really good size. That is internationally 
um, compatible for carry on, I do believe. I'm not 100% certain, but I'm like 99% sure. So you can carry that on internationally, domestically, shouldn't have a problem with it. It's pretty, it's pretty small and compact, but it's got a lot of room on the inside. Um, great compartments. Uh, for your computer too and I wanted that for my husband because he has a bad back he's had back injuries you know over the last six years and it's been a real constant battle for him so to have a bag that he can first of all it's got the you know the the four wheel so it what do they call that a spin it's a spinner bag so it's really easy to maneuver but if being able to put his heavy laptop in the bag itself is key um, and I just think that's really nice um, thing to think about for a guy who travels with with like a big tech item um, and like my husband he travels with his huge iPad as well um, so he would have his iPad in his backpack and to have his iPad and also his computer in his backpack that's getting really heavy and big bulky um, so it's nice to be able to put one or two or all of your devices in your in your wheeled carry-on as well um, so $249.95, really nice, well put together bag, really classy looking, um, and just, they've really streamlined it. I think it only weighs just over six pounds. So it's very light, very easy to handle. It's got three handles on it. Like that's another pet peeve of my husband's, especially when the bag only has one handle, like a top handle or side handle. It's good to have them on all sides. And this one has one on three sides, which is, which is pretty good. So um, really nice bag. And I think something that sort of an, out of the ordinary, um, you know, not not an ordinary Christmas present, but very, very useful. Or not Christmas necessarily, but holiday gift. Um, definitely gonna be under the tree this year for my for my husband because it's not something he needs, right? We have other carry-ons, but it's something that he can get a lot of use out of and make his life a bit easier, I think. So that's a good kind of present, I think. Okay, now for my host hostess gifts. I think bringing a really nice um, bouquet of flowers or sending, if you're like, you know, not living in the same place, sending the gift of flowers, especially the holiday season when, you know, it's just the fall has just happened and all the leaves are off the trees and everything's kind of getting brown and gray and icky outside. Um, and maybe it hasn't snowed yet. Um, so you don't even have that like nice snow to look forward to. It's just like, it's just like kind of blah. I think a really nice floral gift is really really special and I discovered this company called Bloom That actually through Pop Sugar, which is a monthly subscription box I have and I have ordered several bouquets through them as gifts with great results. People have loved those bouquets. Um, and I finally ordered one for myself and you know, with the, um, you know, cause, because it was for the gift guy, like I had to get one, and, you know, because it's for the gift guy. Uh, but it is absolutely gorgeous. They come beautifully packaged in this gorgeous burlap. I mean, they're absolutely stunning, very unique, but um, very, you know, um, kind of user-friendly flowers, I would say. Um, and they kind of can go with a variety of tones um, for different um, you know, holidays or whatever. And we're not in quite in the holiday season yet. You know, I'm putting this gift guide up pretty early, but I'm sure as we get closer to the holidays, they'll have kind of more holiday-esque bouquets. Um, but their bouquets range from $50 to $100. So they're really, I mean, these are fancy flowers, right? Well, it's just, they're, fla they're fancy, fancy flowers. Uh, but when you want to go that extra mile, I think they're just a beautiful option. And it's um, overnight shipping via FedEx, I think, in the States. Um, so uh, you can get flowers from anywhere, really. I just wanted to highlight this one company because I just thought they had really unique and um, beautiful arrangements. This, I don't know if this is gonna be cheating because this is kind of a repeat of last year, but I just don't even care because I love the Nest Fragrance Diffuser and candles so much, especially in the holiday scent. And when I saw they had a gift set, one of each, I was like, yes, that is the ultimate, the ultimate hostess gift. Um, so first of all, it comes in this gorgeous box, right? Absolutely stunning. Um, oh, I smell it, it smells so good. Look at this. How beautiful. So you get the candle and the full size diffuser with the little sticks, you know, that you put in. Um, these are my favorite diffusers. I always have one in our powder room. They're the best. And the holiday scent is my favorite. Um, this is $72 for the set. And I just think you don't even need to wrap it. It just comes in such a beautiful packaging already. Um, with the, um, am I doing this right? No. With the, um, it's like this flocked um, gold foil box. It just, it's, it's wrapped already basically. I might just throw a ribbon around it and call it a day. 
but a, a really nice gift for uh, you know host hostess thing of her party you're going to if you want to spend a little bit more seventy two dollars is you know that's a pretty hefty uh, hostess gift but really really nice I couldn't bring these up to show you because they're too big but I was introduced to this brand a couple of years ago I first heard about them and it's called Framebridge and what they do it's an online company that does high quality framed um, artwork or photos or whatever and you do it all via the internet you don't have to go into a shop you don't have to you know do the custom you know sitting with somebody and doing the matting and all that that's something you can do if you want but this is nice if you want the convenience of it um, and they photo you know the framed prints and photos start at $59 and then go up depending on the size and it's just a really cool Thing. So I tested this out. I took a couple of pictures. One, an iPhone photo of uh, my husband, his father, and our brother-in-law at the World Series Game 7. They got to go, which was really exciting for them and a really special moment. And I want that to be, that's a gift actually for the men in my family. I'm getting a, the same framed photo for each of them. Um, so an iPhone photo. And I uploaded the photo through the software on the website and it figured out you know the resolution and how big you can make it and still maintain a good quality of print and it automatically told me that I didn't have to like figure it out myself like oh I can only do like an 8x10 or a 10 by 12 or no it knew what to do and you can pick any size from that going or smaller um, so I did the biggest size you could with the resolution of the iPhone photo and it turned out great and it's a really quite big um, really great and I think that one I can't I think that one was $99 I can't remember off the top of my head I submitted the order I think it was on a Saturday or a Saturday night and I received the order on Tuesday it came and it came beautifully packaged, like super well packed. Um, absolutely no damage was done to it in transit. Then I did another photo because I wanted to test. We actually got the proofs back from our family portrait session that we did a couple of weeks ago. These are unedited photos. Like these are the, just the proofs, but he sent me the high resolution proofs. Um, and I, even though it wasn't edited yet, I wanted to see how it would turn out, you know, having a bigger photo done. So I did a, a larger size of Charlotte and Winnie. I love this picture. It's so cute. Um, and it came out beautifully. And they have so many frames you can choose from. Um, so many different matting styles. You can really customize it the way you want it. I kind of went with the their suggestions. Like they give you a list of suggestions if you're kind of overwhelmed by trying to pick everything out yourself. I think using their their software really is great for a variety of people's needs like if you really want to be involved in a lot of the process if you don't you can also work with a designer I think it's a complimentary thing it just takes a little bit longer um, so if you want to you know have somebody help you with it instead of just the computer um, the software or whatever that's included on the website but I think they came out beautifully and what an amazing amazing gift um, and just the quality of the way the iPhone photo came out, I just am blown away. So highly would recommend that. I'm going to do gallery walls finally. We've lived in this house almost 10 years. And I'm finally getting around to doing the gallery picture walls and our hallways and stuff. But I was waiting until we had babies. So um, it made more sense, I guess. I'll just tell myself that. Uh, but yeah, I, 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 really, I really, really can't um, endorse that enough and I'm just so blown away by how quickly it came and how well it was packaged and how well the photos came out um, so yeah also another home good item uh, the another barefoot dreams item the cozy chic throw $147 I bought this on sale at the Nordstrom anniversary sale I love it it is like being cuddled by a cloud and it is just a beautiful beautiful throw it's a really nice size it's that butter but it's that butter it's that barefoot dreams um, fabric that is just so nice but even like plusher um, I have mine on the um, I call it the snuggle chair <laughs> in our bedroom um, and it is my favorite thing to you know cuddle up there with a cup of cocoa and a book really cozy comfy love it beautiful comes in a variety of colors they have some patterns and things I think they might be different prices. Uh, I know the solid one is $147, so definitely, definitely a splurge, but beautiful gift. And last but not least, for the coffee lover on your on your list, we've gone Nespresso. It happened. We've had a Keurig for years. 
it's great, it's convenient, it's easy. We've also had just like a Cuisinart grind and brew for years. You know, pretty easy as well if you want that, a big pot of coffee, but I don't drink regular coffee and Don, when he was working from home more, that worked out more for him because he drink he drinks a lot of coffee, but now that he's in the office every day, all day, he doesn't need a whole pot of coffee, so it just wasn't practical. And in the last couple of months, I started getting really into um, decaf coffee again. I go through phases with coffee. I'm definitely a tea person, but I go through phases with coffee, and I can't drink full full strength coffee. It's too much caffeine for me, but decaf coffee is the bomb.com. And I was just going, finding myself going to Starbucks a lot, and it's just getting a little bit fattening and a little bit expensive. Um, so I was like, let's try the Nespresso. Um, I think Dom would really like it, blah, blah, blah. Well, we've had it for a while now. We've had it for like, I don't know, maybe six or seven weeks, and we both love it. I just think it's the best thing. I love, I make a little um, almond milk caramel latte with it every day. Um, and maybe I'll show you guys how I make that. This is probably gonna be a favorite. From, maybe at the favorites this month, I'll include, and I'll include how I make my caramel latte because it's, first of all, it's just as delicious as Starbucks lattes, but it's a lot less expensive and a lot less calories. Um, so I just love that. We have the Cities Espresso Maker, which retails for $249.95, but I saw it on Williams Sonoma for $187 which is kind of a weird price. It was like $187.46. So I don't know if that's like a fluke or if it's on sale, but it didn't say sale. I don't know, but that's a really good price for that. So I would swoop in and I will link that to William Sonoma below because if that price is still there, like if you want to buy this for yourself or for somebody else, get it. Really nice gift. The cities I like the best because of the design. Um, I knew I just wanted the um, the single shot maker. I didn't want like the coffee maker. They they do sell an espresso sells one that makes kind of like Keurig makes a full cup of coffee. But um, I knew I wanted lattes. Don likes espresso. He just likes to drink it straight. So um, it works out for us. And it's a really sleek and nice looking machine. Um, so. I think that's a really, really splurgy, wonderful present for the coffee lover on your list, um, for sure. And also, a good um, stocking stuffer for somebody who maybe already has an espresso, or if you're getting them an espresso, would be to get them the capsules, because they come in these long, skinny boxes, and it's perfect like stocking stuffer size. Uh, I meant to say another good stocking stuffer for somebody who has an Instax camera, or if you're giving them the Instax, is to buy them the, um, the um, film film for it because again another good stocking stuffer size present but that's a good segue because my next holiday gift guide will be my stocking stuffer gift guide I will have that up for you next weekend if all goes well um, I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope it gave you some inspiration or some ideas thank you for sharing your gift picks as well in the comments like you did last week I think that's really fun and a great way to get more inspiration from others so please continue to do that if you care to and um, Yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching you guys and um, happy holiday shopping. Bye, take care.